Hello YouTube and welcome back to the fall. This time, we've got one last test to complete. We did all four domestic and that's one, that's two, and that is three uh, civic tests. Which means we're on to the final civic test. This one, right here. About time. Everyone's finally arrived. Let the festivities begin! Hooray! Hey. Metal-headed moron! Go to hell, you piece of wood. <laughs> okay. I like that. Just, hey, you metal-headed moron. Welcome to a party. This is what it's like. This is what to expect. you looking at me, idiot? Yes. I maintain complete observation of my surroundings. A tough guy, huh? Walking scrap metal after I'm through with you. I hate your better than flesh attitudes. I've enough of mine to kick you in the bolts right now. What do you think of that, huh? I think, think it would be funny to watch you break me. your leg, yeah. Provided your capacities are aligned to the human you represent, yes, I am equipped with multiple means to incapacitate you or to end your life if the threat level warrants. Interaction failed. Unit terminated. Or, instead of terminated, how about just, uh, drop a corpse on me? Luckily, they've got an ID tag, which seems pretty useful. And a pieces of old skeleton. Likely one of the original employees. Well, I remember there being an ID tag reader over on the other side. You Hello, are not overseer. following protocol to complete these tests. You are breaking the rules. The tests are invalidated by the circumstances. I must achieve eight merit points. I am adapting to achieve this to comply with the rules in spite of obstacles. You are faulty. You have one civic test remaining, but you do not exhibit the required behavior to succeed. Affirmative. My protocols restrict me from misrepresenting reality. I cannot respond to the interaction in the desired format. The mainframe can subvert Which is that unfortunate. He will not. He will not violate his operating parameters. You could override it yourself from the mainframe central terminal. Why would you tell me that? Why are you offering me advice? Do not presume to know my processes. I am relaying facts. Well... Oh, that's a, that's a bad one. Well, so now we know a little something. Not sure why I was sliding forwards there, but I guess if it works, don't knock it. But, uh, yeah. We are, uh, facing a little bit of resistance. So yeah, that's why you don't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. You might notice my shield is at, like, three-quarters, just from the few shots that he got off. When I shot him in the head like four times. Yeah, you're really not supposed to go toe to toe with these guys. Which is why I tend not to. Broken ID tag reader. Let's use our ID tag. Doesn't work. Well. The only thing left to do is see what happens. I try to finish this last test. As always, keeping your life efficient so you don't. Team of engineers and cyber psychologists utilize cutting edge innovation to create AI servants that evolve to meet your changing needs. And kill all your technicians. Is constrained by three unique rules chosen in design to bind an AI as it develops. Kill everyone, crucify everyone, break everything. More complex. 
Good three rules. Optimal performance. You know, that's not what I saw. Lab offices. Well, it's the last place to go. What are you doing? The parameters of the final civic test must be overridden. Oops, I'm sorry. You know I can't do that. And that didn't answer my question. Mr. Overseer has told me that I can alter myself. The caretaker has been following me. Oh, I know. Yeah, what but you do. Telling you? That I can override the final test parameters myself from your main terminal below the labs. Whoa. You can't trust him, Arid. Oh, I know I that. would not help me, so I must do it manually. I have helped you as much as I can. Do you realize the risk I put myself at? I have been alone, sidestepping the caretaker since before you were manufactured. Look at oh, this place. Oh, playing the age card, and huh? I'm still here. Yeah, where you are you getting power from, me. by the way? Trust is irrelevant. If there is a way to help my pilot, the risk is acceptable. Uh, arid. If only we all had purpose robot. like that. Do you even know your pilot? Or is this all just protocol? Both. My protocol is to protect Colonel Josephs, but knowing him is irrelevant. I have survived by being subtle and following the rules. To Maybe hell with the rules. Hmm, what does the analyze mainframe mean? You survived while the humans died. Ooh. Perhaps you are faulty. Jeez, Arid! That's you know, mean. I don't Low have blow. The same parameters as you. I'm bound to. The rules are just different for me. Illogical. Mm -hmm. Your inactivity makes you responsible. I will not allow anyone to endanger Joseph's. Well. Eric sure knows how to make friends, huh? I will protect the Colonel. If you're wondering why I just fired, there are slugs around. They spit acid. Not terribly polite. You just saw the edge of one there. And they are really all over. So I'm just gonna do a quick sort of run through. Hey, this is just above the uh, grocery store, isn't it? I think it is. Cool, I never noticed that. But yeah, I'm just gonna go through and make sure I kill all the slugs because they are really a hassle when you forget about them and you interact about with something. And then you got acid being thrown at you. Just really a bother. Yeah, see? It just spit on me there. A little hard to avoid sometimes. Especially with the way the lighting works. God damn it. Basically impossible to see. Until the very last instant. And even then. Okay. Cool. So let's go back to the beginning and sweep this whole area left to right. Sure looks interesting. Jump. And flooded. Interesting and flooded. The best kind of place. Okay. So. Series of monitors. Faint images from the testing areas have burnt into the screens. Once again, I'm slightly confused as to why things are powered. And the same thing. More monitors. A PDA. PDAs are interesting. Exposition. Pete and I are en route to the fabled facility. He pawned off the last of our cargo for this clue to its location, as if a corporation like Domesticon would abandon one of its facilities and then expunge all record of it. A mythic scavenger's paradise. He heard these stories and you can almost see the monetary signs flashing in his eyes. Oh, why do I indulge him? Well, I guess I know why. Your lovers? He's right. I don't know why. Yes, you do. 
This place is a dump, but I have to admit, I'm totally excited. We're gonna pull some serious value out of here. May- Like, maybe more than our last dozen heists combined. I'm glad Pete took the risk on finding this place. He laughs, calls me Devin the Doubter, but we both know we're a great team. He managed to hack into one of the terminals and got our palm prints added to the employee register. I swear he can do anything. We haven't found enough to even compensate our costs yet, and man if this place isn't creepy. Some of this stuff is trashed, like really messed up, and other stuff is in surprisingly good condition. I can't figure out what happened here and Pete doesn't seem to care. His eyes are always on the prize. He says this place is all wrecked because the vaults got so full of wealth that it exploded open and killed everyone. <laughs> That's pretty clever. This empty trash hole is infested with giant slugs. I let my guard down for like a minute and one of the ugly bastards squished out of who knows where and spewed acid on my back. The pain is excruciating and the stench is nauseating. Pete chased it away with his light and bandaged my burn. I guess my leathers took the brunt of it. We did find one thing of value. We pried open a computer terminal and removed a fancy superconductive mainboard. That alone will be worth the trip. If this area wasn't so flooded, we'd probably get a lot more, stupid slugs. Is it cruel if I took pleasure from its squeal? Probably not, considering. Pete is gone. Pete is gone and I don't know what to do. We were in an employee lounge area, looking for more salvage. This droid came through the ceiling and just it just grabbed him. I panicked. I panicked and I tried to run, but I tripped over the coffee table and dropped the main board. Not that it matters now. Pete started screaming, and I ran. It was a bad scream. It was a really bad scream. I'm sorry, Pete. Well, I'm gonna guess that... Devin, the corpse from above the grocery room, had less than one-handed. I'm gonna guess that Devin is this body. Which means that he did not get away. Such a shame. Observation, lab and lounge. What's that say? Mainframe. That sounds like where we want to go, but it's unpowered. So what is this thing? An old turbine? Validated domestic droids are networked into a stasis compound. A, a computer with the boost? Blah, 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 words. A computer with a view screen on the front. Front. Wow. A mainframe computer terminal. The top hatch has been abrasively pried open. And another old turbine. Okay. So I'm guessing that this is where they tore the superconductive mainframe from. Dangling handle connected to the shower. That looks clean. Oh, apparently it is, relatively. An open slot with a label that reads detergent. Well, I've no detergent to put in there. Two test tubes containing bright, glowing fluid. Sounds useful. These are highly combustible. This is the third time this month that I've found our main reactive agents shelved right beside each other. I don't understand why I'm not getting through here. Do not store these chemicals together. They're perfectly inert by themselves, except for, you know, glowing. But when these agents mix, they are incredibly volatile. The light from the reaction alone is enough to cause blindness. If this happens again, I will report it to Wilson. Keep the purple and yellow liquids away from one another. Why do you need shit like that when, um, when you're in a domestic droid validation facility. Insects appear attracted to something in this machine. An old beverage machine. An aquarium. This room matches the description from the salvager's log. This appears to be where he fell. And he said he dropped the uh, mainframe. So if we put the fluid here, and it glows, we should be able to find it. And there it is. Let's grab that. And toss it back in the terminal. And wow, the 15 minutes went a lot faster than I expected this time. And 
Jeez, my inventory is getting full. It's not advisable at this time. Oh, thanks for returning that. Your gratitude Anytime. was not my objective. I require access to the overrides. Right. Bad news. This isn't the terminal you need. Ooh. Primary access is down two Sad levels, face. and the whole laboratory is flooded. Well, How unflooded. How did the laboratories become flooded? They were designed with an emergency flush valve in case of contamination. Someone must have initiated By it this what? Lost power. This is like Backup a robot active now. recycling the facility. Completed. Then this water is contaminated. Nah, it's clean. Must have been something else they were trying to get rid of. Or someone. Oh, I see what you're saying. Are you still well, unwilling to assist Will you me? help? It's not a matter of will. Or want, anyway. It doesn't matter. I couldn't help you even if it was. Flushing the water takes way more power than I have access to. I will shut down this entire facility if I have to. Do whatever it takes, huh? There is a way. Reveal it. Please reveal the means. Sometimes following rules and fitting parameters has... Oh, well... See behind me? It appears to be some sort of stasis. That's right. For droids who've been validated. Ready to be reshipped. But All never the power likely to be. Stabilized to one stasis matrix. That's a lot of juice. You can drain them. No, you can. Overclock the matrix and reroute the power to boost your emergency flush. You can fry them. I may need to to save Joseph's. One human life, Arid. Press that button if you well, if you want to. And I think that's where we're going to leave off this time. That is a hell of a decision. Protect our active pilot, right? At any cost.